Hello, my beautiful family. Salam alaikum, brothers and sisters. Alex Rodriguez here. Another day, another chance. Thanks a lot for that. Family, I have a request to react. Rapid growth of Islam in unexpected countries. Oh, this is gonna be nice. It's a good news. So, uh, I'm worried for this. Thanks for everything, message, support. I love you all. Let's see, this will be interesting. Closely associated with the Middle East and certain other countries such as Pakistan, Indonesia, and Malaysia. In more recent times, with the number of Christians moving away from the church and its commands, the count of converts in Western countries has increased drastically as people seek solace and peace in religion, mainly Islam. But Muslims in Korea, in Japan, wow. in Mexico, in China, in Canada, in Argentina, in Portugal? Por Do we Portugal? even associate Islam with those countries? No, we do not, because they seem far removed from Islam. The reality, though, is that these nations are seeing rapid growth in the number of Muslims in very recent years. And there's nothing that anyone in opposition to Islam can... Look, um, how ridiculous that is. I, I don't know what to say. It's like those people, they don't have anything to do. And they come out to the streets with things like that. It's like crazy it's it doesn't even make sense do when allah command kun be and it is no one not her not him not me not you not anyone can stop or curb this unstoppable growth it is interesting to analyze these countries and it is more important these stories of the burst in the muslim population are told because although islam is the fastest growing religion, it isn't particularly understood. And that is a part of the agenda of Islamophobia that needs to be countered with facts and truths. In Kyushu, one of Japan's biggest islands, devout Muslims flock to the mosque on a Friday. These kind of scenes were unseen and unheard of a few decades ago, as the government has sought to attract migrant workers in the field of construction and IT. Scores of migrants from Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Iran have made Japan home. And where there are Muslims, there will be religion, and there will be masjids. Japan has had approximately 250,000 Muslims in recent years. This growth has prompted the authorities and the general Japanese population to become more tolerant towards Muslims. That's nice because the population in Japan is very small and you have already 250,000 um, Muslims. It's real nice and growing. With many restaurants offering halal food and more than 90 mosques across the Japanese archipelago. But most Japanese are unaware of the Japanese Muslims that live around them as they are yet a minority. The growth in Muslims isn't just by migrants, but more now as families settle down and establish their homes in Japan. Currently, there are a number of second and third generation Muslims, and these hybrid Muslims will be exposed to diverse cultural backgrounds that will hopefully help to dispel the Islamophobic notions while bridging the gap between Muslims and others in Japan. Japan's counterpart in the region, Korea, has seen a similar steady rise in Muslims in recent years. Although the Muslim population comprises just 0.3% of the Korean population, Islam in Korea is going through a significant change. In the last 20 years, the number of Muslims living in Korea has increased five-fold to 150,000 adherents with around 45,000 ethnic Korean Muslims. In contrast to Europe, where thousands of years of political, cultural, and religious interactions have shaped social attitudes toward Islam, Korea's Muslim population remains relatively unnoticed. 
Korea has had its Islamic influence through the years. 19th century seafaring merchants first introduced Islam to Korea, and in the 13th century, the Mongol conquest of Korea witnessed an influx of Muslims from the multicultural Mongol notion to Korea. In the early 20th century, when Japan annexed the Korean peninsula, many Koreans fled to China, where they encountered Chinese Muslims, associated with them, converted to Islam, and returned to Korea after it was liberated from Japanese rule. This is from the beauty of Islam, from the times of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, when he and his followers fled Mecca to avoid the persecution at the hand of the pagans of the Quraysh tribe. They first migrated to Abyssinia, now known as Ethiopia, and then to Medina. The people of Medina, known as the Ansar, the helpers, gave accommodation, food, and assistance in whatever way they could to enable the Muhajirun, the migrants from Mecca, to easily settle and establish themselves. The concept that all Muslims are brothers of one another, all Muslims belong to one community, one Ummah, and that all are equal in the sight of Allah, only being different on levels of piety. That's really nice because also we have a lesson, um, a history lesson, right? That's, that's a brilliant content. That too, known and judged only by Allah, enables Muslims to welcome others with arms outstretched and large hearts in pure intentions. Getting back to the Korean Muslims, a UN multinational force comprising many Turkish soldiers was dispatched to defend Korea during the Korean War. This influence also shaped the Korean attitudes toward Islam. Now the Muslims in Korea are of two distinct origins. The traditional community that converted in China and returned to Korea and the immigrants who have come to Korea to work and study. The Korean government is facilitating ease for students of Muslim origin nice. by establishing halal restaurants and musallas, places of prayer within university compounds. Nice, Korea Muslim food. Tandoori and curry Muslim food. That's nice. These positive changes create a good impression in the minds of Muslim students who enjoy positive relationships with their Korean counterparts. The boundary between the traditional Muslims of Korea and the immigrant Muslim population is blurring because of intermarriages and them establishing themselves in the Korean community. The da'wah, preaching, conveying the message of Islam in Korea by the Muslims includes publishing, educating, and establishing Islamic facilities, while others migrate for marriage, and these networks aid in the spread of Islam. An Islamic scholar, Ismail al-Faruqi, once noted, all Muslims who have left their homelands to settle in non-Islamic countries, regardless of the external factors that led to their migration, see themselves as missionaries than immigrants in the usual sense of the term. As Muslims who adhere to the teachings of the Quran and Hadith, it goes without saying that spreading Islam is an innate responsibility cultivated in us. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, convey from me even one verse. In the U.S., Hispanics formed only 1% of the Muslim population around 2009, but nine years later, the number jumped to 7% as more Spanish-speaking individuals turned to Islam. Hispanics hold a more favorable opinion towards Islam and Muslims when compared with their white-skinned counterparts. The reason a lot of Hispanics convert to Islam is that they find it attractive that Islam emphasizes a personal and direct connection with God without the interference of an institution or clergy. These people from mainly Spanish colonies such as El Salvador and Mexico have for long sought the truth, but with little access to Islamic resources in the Spanish language, they have been curtailed. Mexico, Muslims in Mexico, you heard it right. It's hard a to predominantly believe. Catholic country is unusual to even imagine that Muslims live there. But Muslims have to come to Mexico in spurts through the years with immigrants from Lebanon, Syria, 
and other war-torn African nations. In the southern state of Chiapas, in the indigenous Mayan heartland of Mexico, there are Muslims who have formed a community of their own. Spanish Muslim migrants arrived, and the locals were intrigued by their practices and actions. They spread the word of Islam, and in some cases, entire families converted to Islam, enabling the growth of Muslims. These indigenous people have blended with much ease as they have converted their scarves into a more Islamic headscarf. And their flowing indigenous dress code overlaps the Islamic modest dress code for women. These indigenous Mexican Muslims have seamlessly blended with Islam compared with their Mexican city counterparts. In the bigger cities, as the number of Muslims grows, nice it is not unusual to find a mosque and the adhan, the Islamic call to prayer, drifting with the wind to the ears of the passers-by. Catholic mothers didn't want their daughters to convert to Islam, but were pleased with the change in their lifestyle and the influence of Islam on them. The new Muslims of Mexico find the practicality of Islam extremely pleasing, praying five times a day, connecting with your creator, not eating pork, and prohibition of alcohol is what the progressive, health-conscious Mexican youth appreciate about Islam. Converts are fueling the growth in Mexico City, while high birth rates and large families spur it in rural regions. The akhlaq, good character, and moral conduct of Muslims is a magnet that attracts the interest of non-Muslim communities. Even the poorest of the poor among the Muslims share food with neighbors of different faiths on their Eid days, and they're open to assisting anyone in need despite their difficulties. This is the beauty of Islam, and this is the truth. Allah revealed Surah Nasr to the Prophet Muhammad, when the help comes from Allah in victory, and you see people entering Allah's religion in multitudes. Then extol the praise of your Lord, and pray to Him for forgiveness, for indeed He is ever disposed to accept the repentance. Wow. Very nice family. It's good to know that Islam is growing and people they are looking further for the truth. They live in um, the idols, worship idols to the side and really looking for the, the creator. Uh, the only one that can, you know, uh, has mercy and save us. That's pretty pretty nice I just love this video finally I good news right and that's amazing I and like you like we saw from the beginning nothing can stop that nothing can stop that they're gonna grow they will try to you know uh, they will keep saying bad things about Islam they will keep trying to hide things, the truth, but uh, let's say the Islam, it is unstoppable. And I believe that billions of people uh, will find the truth before the end of the times. And that's really nice. Thanks so much. Thanks for the request. Uh, please let's, let's um, keep praying for the Turkish uh, people, people from Syria, and always put Allah ahead of everything, we're gonna be fine. Allah bless you all, and I see you guys next time. Thank you.